So still under vector analysis, let's try to solve this problem. Question 3. Determine the magnitude of the moment of the 200 newtons force about the x axis. Now for this question, we have F to be 200 newtons and then we have angles formed between F and the x axis, F and the y axis and then F and the z axis. So we have magnitude of F to be 200 newtons and then we have angles alpha, beta and gamma formed between the force and the respective axis. So let alpha be the angle formed between F and the x axis so that is 120 degrees let beta be the angle formed between f and the y axis that is 60 degrees and then let gamma be the angle formed between f and the z axis and that is 45 degrees and so here we have this to be the x component of the force so that is fx this is the y component of the force, Fy, and then this is the z component of the force, Fz. Now, the force F can be represented as a Cartesian vector as Fxi plus Fyj plus Fzk. Now we have Fx to be equal to the magnitude of the force 200 newtons times cosine of the angle alpha which is 120 we have fy to be equal to magnitude of the force times cosine of the angle beta and then lastly we have fz to be equal to 200 times cosine of the angle gamma which is 45 now 200 cos 120 is negative 100 200 cos 60 is 100 and then 200 cos 45 is 141.42 and so we can fix all these values in here and then we have the force represented as a Cartesian vector as negative 100i plus 100j plus 141.42k so this is the force f represented as a cartesian vector now in the question we are asked to find the moment of the force about the x-axis and so moment of the force about the x-axis is giving us the dot product of the unit vector directed along the x-axis and the cross product of r and f so now that we have the values of f let's try to find ux and then r now since we want to find the moment about the x-axis we know that the unit vector directed along the x-axis is i and so we have ux to be i now for r r represents the position vector directed from o to any point on the line of action of f and so we can have a position vector oa so this is the position vector directed from o to a and we call that ra now let's try to find the position vector ra So RA is equal to, now we are going to move some distance along the y-axis and some distance along the z-axis. So moving away from point O, along the y-axis we have a positive value which is 0 0.3. And so we have 0i for the x component plus 0.3 j that is the y component and they move along the z axis that is by 0 0.25 meters so plus 0 0.25 k so this is the position vector ra now since we have all three values 
we can find the moment about the x-axis and so we have moment about the x-axis to be equal to i dot r a cross f so that will be equal to we have the 3 by 3 determinant on the first row we have the coefficient of i is 1 so that becomes 1 0 0 and then on the second row we have r a the coefficients are 0 0 0.3 0.25 on the third row we have the coefficient of the fx fy fz of the force vector f and so that is negative 100 100 and then 141.42 so let's try to find mx so this is equal to this is equal to we have we pick one we cancel out the row and column containing one and so we have one brackets open 141.42 times 0 0.3 and that is 42.426 minus 100 times 0 0.25 that is 25 here we have 0 and then 0 and so 0 times any other value still remains 0 so we have 1 times 42.426 minus 25 gives 17.426. And then we can round this up so that we have 17.43 Newton meter. Now from the question, we were only asked to find the magnitude of the moment. And so that is what we have here. 17.43 newton meter now if we're asked to find or if we're asked to represent the moment about the x-axis as a cartesian vector then that is equal to mx times the unit vector directed along x so it simply becomes 17.43 times i newton meter now let's move on to the next question. Now let's solve question 4. Determine the moment of the force F 50i minus 40j plus 20k newtons about the AB axis and then express the result as a Cartesian vector. So we change the unit of the force to newtons and then the distances along the xyz axis to be in meters. Now for this question, we are giving the force as a vector, which is giving us 50i minus 40j plus 20k. And we are asked to find the moment about the AB axis. So we need to define the unit vector directed along the AB axis. So that is UAB. So we are going to move from point A to point B. Now in doing so, we move some distance along the x-axis and then some distance along the y-axis. So moving from point A towards point O, you have a negative value. So that is negative 4i. And then moving away from point O, along the y-axis, better still away from point O along the y-axis, you have a positive value. So that becomes plus 3. So plus 3 j all divided by the square root of negative 4 square plus 3 square and that is equal to negative 4i plus 3j divided by this becomes 5 and so you have negative 0.8i plus 0.6j. So this is UAB. Next, we are going to define the position vector directed from B to any point on the line of action of the force F. And so we are going to move some distance along the x-axis, some distance along the y-axis, 
and some distance along the z axis so this is the position vector directed from b to any point in the line of action of f so let's call that rc so to find rc we have rc to be equal to now from point b we are moving away from o along the x-axis and so we have a positive value so that's going to be 4i and then from this point we are moving towards o and so we are going to have a negative value for the y-axis so negative 3 j and then moving away also from point o by 2 meters you have a positive value so 2k and we have all this in meters now since we have the values of f u a b and then r c we can find the moment about the a b axis so moment about the a b axis is equal to the dot product of u a b and the cross product of r r c so we have r c cross f now let's simplify this or let's try to find MAB. So MAB, we have the 3 by 3 determinant. Now on the first row, we have UAB, coefficients of UAB, negative 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0, 4, RC, we have 4, negative 3, 2, and then for the force vector we have 50 negative 40 and then 20 let's simplify this so we are going to have negative 0 0.8 so first we pick this value we cancel out the row and column containing this value we have 20 times negative 3 that is negative 60 minus negative 40 times 2 is negative 80 next we pick this value so before that we have negative so plus minus plus so 0 0.6 into bracket 20 times 4 is 80 minus 50 times 2 is 100 here we have 0 so 0 times any other value is still 0 so let's proceed so we have negative 0 0.8 times negative negative becomes positive so negative 60 plus 80 is 20 minus 0 0.6 80 minus 100 is negative 20 negative 0 0.8 times 20 is negative 16 negative times negative is positive 0 0.6 times 20 is 12 and so we have negative 4 newton meter remember that this is the scalar value we are asked to represent we are asked to represent the result as a Cartesian vector so that is given as MAB equals magnitude of MAB times the unit vector directed along AB so that is equal to we are going to have negative 4 times unit vector UAB is negative 0 0.8 i plus 0 0.6 j and that is equal to negative times negative positive 4 times 0 0.8 is 3.2 i and then minus 4 times 0 0.6 is 2.4 so this happens to be the cartesian vector representation of the moment about AB. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.